सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए Water has been detected on moon's surface. The moon has water at places where none had been detected before. It has potentially more water than previously believed in regions where it was already understood to exist. In two separate studies in nature astronomy, scientists have reported findings with potentially huge implications for sustaining humans on the moon in the future. One of the study's reports reveal the detection of water on the moon's sunlit surface for the very first time. The other estimates that the moon's dark, shadowy regions, which potentially contain ice, are more widespread than ever thought. In today's edition of our DNS, we will be answering questions like why is the discovery of water on moon important? What was known about water on moon? And what is different in the new discovery? So let us begin by answering the first question that is, why is the discovery of water important? As we all know, water is a marker of potential life. Apart from this, water is a precious resource in deep space. For astronauts landing on the moon, water is necessary not only to sustain life but also for purposes such as generating rocket fuel. NASA's Artemis program plans to send the first woman and the next man to the moon in the year 2024 and hopes to establish a sustainable human presence, thereby the end of the decade. If space explorers can use the moon's resources, it means they need to carry less water from Earth. Moving further, let us know what was known previously about water on the moon. Previous moon studies, including the Indian Space Research Organization's ISRO's Chandrayaan-1 mission, have provided evidence for the existence of water. In the year 2009, the moon mineralogy mapper M3 instrument abroad Chandrayaan-1 found water molecules in the polar regions. A paper in Nature Geoscience in August 2013 analyzed M3 data to report the detection of magmatic water that is water originating from the deep interiors on the moon's surface. The only thing that was not clear with the studies based on observations by the Chandrayaan-1 mission was that NASA's Cassini and Deep Impact Comet mission and NASA's ground-based infrared telescope facility was that whether the detection molecules were water as we know it in the form of H2O or in the form of hydroxyl OH. So now let us know how is the new discovery different from the previous ones. In the latest discovery, H2O molecules are confirmed. It is discovered in Calvius crater in the moon's southern hemisphere. This is for the very first time that water has been detected on the sunlit side showing it is not only restricted to the shadowy regions. SOFIA, a modified Boeing 747SP jetliner that flies at altitudes up to 45,000 feet, has an infrared camera that picked up the wavelength unique to water molecules. The data revealed water in concentrations of 100 to 14 112 parts per million trapped in one cubic meter of soil. Sophia's mission is to look at dark and distant objects. The moon is so close and bright that it fills the Sophia Guide camera's entire field of view. Back in August 2018, while checking the reliability of Sophia in tracking the moon, scientists tried a test observation. It was at that time from this test water was detected. Scientists are now planning more observational flights. How widespread is water on the moon? On the sunlit side, it is not yet known whether the water Sophia found is easily accessible or not, while on the other hand, shadowy pockets on the lunar surface called cold traps are spread across a combined 40,000 square kilometer 
the other study has reported. That is roughly the size of Kerala. The estimate used mathematical tools to analyze data from the NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The cold traps have not received sunlight for potentially billions of years. If they do contain ice, it means water is going to be more accessible than previously assumed. SOFIA will look for water in more sunlit locations to learn better about how the water is produced, stored and moved across the moon. Meanwhile, NASA's Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover will carry out a mission to create the first water resource maps of the moon.